We do want to bring you the latest news coming out of Texas tonight. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has been acquitted of 16 articles of impeachment. Paxton had been accused of using his office to help a campaign donor who was under FBI investigation. Reporter Monica Madden has been tracking this case for weeks, and Monica joins us now. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. And our very first question for you, you know, Ken Paxton accused of bribery, obstruction of justice, conspiracy, and that's those are just a few of those things. Can can you sum up the prosecution's case against him, the defense's case, and the reasoning for this verdict? Well, good to be with you tonight here, Natasha. Um, prosecution, really all of this started because of Paxton's relationship with an Austin real estate developer, a man named Nate Paul. He is a campaign donor and a friend of Paxton's, and prosecutor's case was centralized around Paul. Paul had been and still is wrapped up in a variety of legal issues. He's under federal investigation right now as we speak. And he, Paxton is accused, or was accused, I should say, of going to great lengths to use his office to help Paul. And at certain points during the trial, it came out, too, that whistleblowers, some of the former top aides who eventually reported Paxton to the FBI, and that's kind of what started all of this process, um, it, was, it was found that the whistleblower, or I should say, the whistle, whistleblowers alleged that Paxton um, was being bribed and, or was bribed by Nate Paul and also possibly blackmailed because of an alleged extramarital affair he was having. So that was one of prosecution's key arguments about Nate Paul and Paxton's relationship with him throughout the trial. We also heard from defense that there was no evidence in this and that there was not anything to prove that Paul benefited from Paxton nor that Paxton benefited from Paul. So ultimately, defense was successful in um, their case defending the attorney general here in this historic trial, Natasha. Yeah, an impeachment trial rarely happens in Texas. Can you help explain the historical significance and how Texas officials have been reacting to this verdict today? Right. Even though Ken Paxton was acquitted today, he was impeached in the House, so he joins a very small list of Texas officials. The last statewide official to be impeached was in 1917, Governor James, known as Pa Ferguson. He faced uh, 20-some articles of impeachment and actually resigned before he was ultimately removed from office. The Senate had convicted him and he resigned before he could formally be removed from office. And then the other person in Texas history to be impeached is a district judge. That was in the late 70s, O.P. Carrillo. He was a district judge also facing a variety of charges. So this is extremely rare in Texas and it speaks to the moment of the political climate that we political climate, excuse me, that we are in. I know you asked about reaction, and we've been hearing uh, from a variety of Texas Republicans, both state and nationally. Notably, we heard from the governor today for the first time in months. Governor Greg Abbott called it a fair trial and then went on to praise Paxton for his conservative policies that he uh, spearheaded in the, pla in the past. And then we also heard from state senator, excuse me, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, who described it as the right outcome. Natasha. Okay. Monica Madden live for us this evening with that report. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.